Let's learn about trigonometric ratios in second quadrant. In the second quadrant, anything above 90 degree, anything less than 180 degree comes in the second quadrant. So sine of 90 plus theta, sine of 90 plus theta because in the second quadrant, sine is positive. So sine 90 plus theta becomes still positive and because of this 90 this becomes cos theta cos of 90 plus theta cos is not positive cos is negative so minus times sine theta similarly 10 90 plus theta 10 is in the second quadrant 10 is negative it remains negative and because of this 90 10 got, gets converted to cot theta then I have cot 90 plus theta. This cot becomes 10 and being in the second quadrant only sine and cosec are positive so this is negative. Then I have cosec theta sorry 90 plus theta. Sine and cosec are the only positive ratios, trigonometric ratios. So cosec becomes positive and because of this 90 cosec becomes sec theta. Then I have sec 90 plus theta. Sec is negative so it's negative and because of this 90 sec becomes cosec theta. Similarly I have angles with 180 degree sine of 180 degree or I can write it as pi also minus theta comes in the second quadrant. Because of this 180 degree sine remains sine and sine is positive so it remains positive. It remains sine theta. Cos of 180 minus theta. Cos is negative so negative because of this 180 degree cos remains cos theta. Then I have 10 of 180 minus theta. 10 remains 10. 10 is negative in second quadrant so negative cot 180 minus theta cot remains cot because of the second quadrant it is negative then I have sine cos ten cot cosec cosec 180 minus theta being in the second quadrant cosec is positive and because of 180 cosec remains cosec theta the last one sec of 180 minus theta because of the second quadrant sec became minus and because of 180 degrees sec remain sec theta.